Okay, we are back. I am almost done this roof on the house. Problem is, it is now winter time. It's about to turn into November. So I really need to get this done. I need like a proper shelter, but it's almost done. And I'm also working on the, the workshop here. I'm going to move this hell of hammer somewhere closer to the forges eventually, but I still need more materials for this thing. I do need to light that tower up, and I'm going to have three windmills over here in total. But right now, what I'm going to do is, oh, let me check one thing real quick. Okay, this is still good for around... One more day. I do need to preserve that fruit. I'm not growing any more fruit anymore, so I need to get that done. And here's pretty much my entire stockpile of stuff for the winter. I have all of this red meat stew with boiled onion and carrot. Now these four crocs over here have not been sealed. Let me check this real quick. 17 days. 17.1 days. Okay, so keeping this door closed will be essential. Well, I guess not really essential, but it'll make it last just a little bit longer. But I'll be eating this first, the unsealed crocs, and then these sealed crocs. And then for fruit, I have this jam plus the ones I'm about to preserve. And then, I, yeah, I still have honey. I have a little bit of pickled onions here just so I can get some cheese making going. And for flour, well... I have all of this. I still need to get the ovens up and running. And I also have three uh, vessels of grains. And here's all of my vegetables. In this playthrough, I actually grew more grains than vegetables. So I'm going to have to conserve that. Now, in the meantime, what I want to do... Since we have lots of linen, what I'm going to do is make some bombs. Here's my black coal, and I did get some sulfur. If I can find it. Oh, there it is. And what I want to do is make some bombs. Some ore blasting bombs. First, we need to make the powder. So this is... Oh, we need saltpeter. Should have some extra saltpeter lying around, but we do need to, like, get more of that. So I guess we're just making two powder for the time being. And what I'm going to do is harvest a lot of ores. Probably shouldn't put that there. And the ore blasting bombs. This requires a lot of string or flax twine. Eight sixteen. Okay, so I can make 24 for now. And what I want to do is go and get some uh, lead. And I also need to mine more quartz for the windows. Anyway. I'm low on vegetable nutrition, so you know what? What I'm going to do is just get some turnip stew going. Oh, I also need to check the remainder of my crops, because this is still growing. Like, it's still warm enough that it can grow. But, uh, I need this. Okay, this stuff is damaged, and I just realized I can continue growing parsnips. Parsnip seeds are, like, right... Where did I put... I put the seeds here in the last play session. Yeah, so what I need are parsnips. I need to get that planted because that can still grow, except I don't have my parsnips. Did I already plant them? You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. First, let's get this going. Yeah, hefty turnip stew. So I just want to get some of this going. 
Now, there's a cave over there that I explored much earlier on. I found some powdered borax and lead, like lots of lead, but I didn't fully explore it. So that's what I want to do, since now I have the resources to do it. And while that's going, let's put this back. Or not the bowl, the, the stuff. And I need to find my parsnips, like, yeah, we still need to harvest this, and I probably should harvest it before- Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have done that. Sure, onions, but, yeah, like, where are my par- What the hell? Did I just jump over this fence here? That was weird. Anyway. Oh yeah, here's my parsnips, they were growing. Okay, probably should check the food. Like, there's a, still a lot of things I need to do, but... i to make sure these are... Oh, I need to feed my animals. I also need to continue building this path here. Like, I've pretty much been neglecting it. Because I've been busy, like, getting this workshop up and running. Okay, so... This... Maybe, like some turnips here but I'm mainly going to be feeding them the flax first I'm gonna feed them the flax first and then like oh hi drifter flax first and then like vegetables and then like the rest of the crops here Just gotta make sure their grains are kept good. And then I'll put some turnips in here. And then after that, I'm gonna go eat myself. Well, not eat myself, you know, but I'm going to eat and then we're going to head into the cave. Still a lot of things need to be done. See, this is the problem with uh, building such an expensive house. It's like you just you're just spending a lot of time just doing stuff. Oh, come on. All right, time to eat. Get our vegetables up. Alright, let's go into the cave now. And I also need to make more of these ingot molds. And I also need to basically make another pit kiln. Because we destroyed our old one. Okay, so we're going down here. Yeah, November, beginning of November. Let's go down in here. Ow. Like I should be able to get back up here. Yeah, there's all the drifters. And there is the powdered borax. Now, did I go down here? Actually, I didn't go down here. So, I'm gonna have to fight these guys so I, I can build the ladders. There's a lot of you. you. You just die. And here's lead ore, and we also need that powdered borax. We're going to be exploring caves, part of the caves that we haven't explored yet. Oh, here's a ruin. And this type of ruin. Okay, so we got a gear and we got some metal scraps and, oh, healing items. And there's nothing down here. Okay. So this part is now fully explored. 
Now there is another part of the cave which I didn't explore yet. I'm just gonna leave the torches here. Or I guess I can take this. Now, did I explore this part? Yes, I did, and it's a dead end. Oh, wait, you're not dead. Damn. And there was some lead ore here as well. Now, there is the cave I would need to explore is over here. I didn't go down here yet. I do want to light this part up. Right, let's put a ladder like right here, except... Okay, fine. Let's go down here. Oh, this is a uh, very... It's down even further. Graphite? The hell is graphite used for? Yeah, what's with the graphite? Well, I guess that we can take some of that. Oh, look, guys, tin. Oh, my God. If I had come down here sooner, I would have had, like, bronze sooner. Oh, my God. And I really don't know why the music is playing right now. Because, uh, I'm pretty deep in the cave, you know, so I don't know why you're playing, but I think this is a good time to, like, harvest stuff. Blow this up. Okay, was that the drifter or the explosion that hit me? Come on. I have to check this. Blunt attack. Okay, it was the explosion. But anyway, let's go get all of this stuff. Okay, drops graphite. Graphite is used for nothing. Well, all right then. So we're, I don't have packed dirt. So anyway, I'd say this cave is now fully explored. And unless I want to take the graphite, it's not used for any reason. So I'm just not gonna bother, but I will. What the hell? What? Was I like not being careful enough? Anyway. I do need more saltpeter so I can make more explosives. And the thing is, I, I realized that the ore bombs are actually quite cheap. Like, I was looking at the ingredients, but... You get eight ore bombs just for like one linen. So it's actually fairly cheap. Probably should have gotten those sooner. Like I just didn't want to burn the resources, but now in hindsight, I probably should have done this. Well, anyway, this entire cave has now been explored. I can take these lead deposits in the powdered borax. Oh, you're alive, so I'll just kill you. 
And I probably should light this place up. Oh, shit. I also should be more careful because I'm almost dead. Yeah, let's light this place up, prevent the spawns, and then just clean out this place. Oh, here's some rich lead. And there's going to be more resources down here. Yeah, here's... Yeah, this is more lead. Now, I did explore the rest of this cave, and I do know that the rest of this stuff is just lots and lots of lead. So that's why I want to clear this out now. And... what? Oh, there we go. Let me just dig just a little bit further. I just need to make sure that there's actually resources that we can blow up. Come here. Oh, come on. I am sucking at this. Yeah, too, way too many hits that I should not be taking. And I think I can just dig through here. And you know what? Let's continue getting this stuff. What the hell? How much damage did I take? But this guy is getting a little too close. Maybe I should light up the place. Like over there. Just so they stop spawning. Oh, come on. Even though they're surface drifters, still need to take these guys out. I need you guys to stop spawning. Okay, he's still coming after me, so we gotta engage. Oh, come on! What? Is it just me, or do they have like a longer reach now? Or maybe I'm just sucking at this. It's got to be one like one of those days. You know what? These warp blasting bombs do make it faster. It's going to be even faster with like quartz. Simply because it's going to be like too high. Like two blocks high. Like, I heard drifters over there, but anyway, let's just get this harvested. And that is the entire deposit, so we can get out of here. Oh, come the corner you know what we have to leave like I need to heal but you know what while we're there while we're back at home I can start processing this stuff here oh we should install ladders Yeah, so I was pretty much sucking at avoiding damage. And I think I can make like another charcoal pit, or not a charcoal pit, like a... Uh, what's it called? Pit kiln. How's this doing? Okay. 
Okay, we're still doing good. Let's just store these resources. And then all of our saltpeter can go here. I do have one more bandage. Probably should use it. Uh, let's just store that stuff here, but where... Where can I put... Ah, there it is. Got two gears now. Alright, andesite cobblestone. Now, building materials, I do... I do need to, uh, like, build some more stuff. Where is my spare cobblestone, though? So I guess I'm making more. Okay, take the blue clay here. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And then that should be good for the time being. Like, I do need to harvest that charcoal pit as well. Oh, did I have horsetail? Yes, I did. Now, I don't want to spend my linen on healing items, so I'm just going to use uh, this stuff over here. And then we'll probably harvest some more horsetail later on. I will put armor here. So let's heal up. And then we can eat this now. And I'm just gonna finish this up. Oh, shit. Some of this has cold damage. You know what? Probably should harvest this now. That's a pickaxe. Where's my scythe? It's not in my inventory. Oh, no. Where's my scythe? Wait, it's in the workshop. Uh, I'm lost. I probably should take this back. Wait, turnips? Wait, no. Never mind. I, I was looking at the turnips. I thought, I originally thought it was like minus 10 resistance, but it's fine. We don't have to grow anymore. So this will be the final harvest. I better like take this all before the crops get even more damaged. Yeah, some of it has cold damage, but most of it doesn't. Oh, whoops. Alright, so this is the last of this. Not going to get the full harvest. Maybe I am. Some of these are still growing, but I'm just gonna get it now. I didn't actually use that many ore bombs. I only used four. But I'm gonna... I guess I need to, like, get all of the lead anyway. Even the poor and medium deposits. Okay. 
Okay, that is it for this farmland. And then over here. I guess nothing's growing over here. What about here? Uh, the carrots can stay for just a little bit longer. Probably should take the onions now. Instead of just like letting it sit there. Okay, we'll put grains in here. And then I guess try to fit some more stuff in here. Actually, we can't fit any more here. Interesting. All right, we'll just store it here. I should continue grinding stuff, but it's connected to the hell of hammer, not the quern. The way these seeds. Hmm. Okay. Put seeds in here, I guess, and then we'll put. We'll deal with these flax fibers later, or maybe we'll deal with it now, since we do need storage space, deal with it now, and it'll go like that. Oh, probably should put the armor back on. Alright. Oh, scythe is almost gone. Looks like it's just enough for harvesting these onions, since this is 54 tiles. And all of these, oh, right, these are still growing. And it has cold resistance of minus 10. So we can leave this for the time being. And there we go. And then we will store these seeds and these vegetables. Parsnips will take just a little bit longer. So it's just the carrots and parsnips left. And I wonder, maybe I can get like another round of carrots going and parsnips. Just to top off my vegetables. Alright. Put these in here. I think we can combine that. There we go. Alright, so let's go back into the cave there. Or, wait. I was gonna build the thing here. Pit kiln. Okay, it's gonna be six like that. One, two, three, four, five. So it'll pretty much be the same size as the charcoal pit there. I need to line it with like uh, the cobblestone as well. I'll just dig this out as well, just so we have like a cobblestone bottom. 